topic markers you should buy first. I think that whenever people ask this question, a lot of people's response is, well, it depends on what you draw, and that's true. It also depends a little bit on what your favorite colors are, but I really do think that most artists draw a bit of everything, so I'm here to talk about what I recommend you start with. The markers I'm going to recommend are going to maximize your versatility with the minimum number of markers. I think that eventually most people are going to want at least 36 markers, but that can be a really a bit pricey to start. So I'm going to show you guys my recommended base 12 set of Copics, and then my recommended 16 set, 24 set, 32 set, and 36 set. So you can start buying right away even if it's just two or three markers at a time. Let's go! First marker I'm going to recommend in a base set is going to be C3 Cool Gray. And that is because no matter what other colors you have in your set, you can use Cool Gray to shade or darken that color. My base set is gonna have a lot of lighter colors because then you can use this gray to darken them. Now you don't have to pick cooler grays. You can, they also have neutral grays and they also have warm grays. I just pick cooler grays because I like cool shadows. Um, it's just kind of a bluer tone and I'll show you what this color looks like. So I got the Copic original for my grays because they were some of the first Copics that I got. I think that I would have gotten the Copic sketch originally if I had to choose again. Now the second recommended Copic I'm ordering these in order of when you should buy them. So like most important to least important. Now the next one that I would recommend is, so this is E00. This is a light in the earth family tone, I guess. And this is a really great skin tone for white people. Even some Asian people who are pretty pale. There you go. That would be E00. It's hard for me to write when I can't see through my camera. So yeah, that would be E00. The next color, a kind of a lighter red, R24, which is prawn. And this is absolutely one of my favorite Copic colors of all time. I don't usually like red colors. This is gonna be, this is recommended because you can't really mix this color by layering other Copic color, because it's a primary color. And then my next recommended color is, you guessed it, another primary color. It's gonna be blue. I picked a really light blue because it's easier to layer, it's easier to get the actual colors that you want when you're blending for other colors. So here it is B02, which is like Robin's egg blue or something. Here we go. So if you layer these, it doesn't really look like purple, which is why I'm gonna recommend a purple layer, because everyone says that like blue and red makes purple, but I never bought that. It just doesn't work. Kind of like a base middle yellow color. Yellow is just really useful. So this is Y15. Just with these five colors, you can actually do a lot. And if you layer this with this blue here, it actually makes a pretty nice yellow green. So the next one in order of importance that I would recommend is gonna be another E color. This is E33. This is great for people with darker skin tones. So like any Hispanic people or even a lot of like Native American skin tones or just like lighter skinned, like black skin tones or like mixed race people. It's also good for, this color is just so versatile because like anything in nature, trees, the ground, hardwood floors, like anything that's made of wood. And then next I'm gonna recommend, recommend another gray color because if you ever wanna do something that's just black and white but you wanna have like shadow, like grayscale, it's good to have more than one gray to create a greater sense of depth. So this one is C5 Cool Gray. And if you look at this one next to the C3 that I recommended earlier, and you can really kind of blend those shades really nicely. And that, this is when you're starting to get into the ability to blend Copics, which is just what makes Copics so delightful. So like I talked about earlier, how this red and this blue don't make purple, now I'm gonna recommend you a purple. V15. You could also go for the BV family here, but I find that if you mix this with this blue, you can get BV colors pretty well. That's the blue-violet family for Copics. It's kind of like a warmer purple. So that way, this is also a great shadow color. And then one other color, the reason I'm recommending this color is because it's absolutely impossible to mix with the colors that we already have here. RV23, which is pure pink. Then, I'm gonna recommend an even darker brown color. So this is gonna be like people who are more pure black skin tones. This is E37 Sepia. 
I'm recommending this kind of lighter, grassy. This is kind of like a pine tree green. This is G24. Okay, now I'm going to recommend you my number one most used Copic of all time, part of the BG family. This is BG11, which is moon white. This color is amazing for the sky, it's amazing for water, it's amazing for shadows. You can layer it on any color and create a shadow with it. That concludes the least recommended 12 set of Copics. Alright, so the first color that I'm going to recommend is, I'm kind of biased, this one is my favorite color of all time. You can probably tell by my hair, but it's Wire 04. This yellow is better for highlights than the yellow I already recommended, and if you want to get this yellow even sooner than the other yellow, Super, super useful. I like the red I'm going to recommend you next, which is a lighter red. This is also one of my favorite Copic colors of all time. Light prawn. I, I never would have thought that I would have liked the red family for Copic so much, but R22 light prawn is genuinely one of my favorite colors. And when you mix it with this light yellow, and then even though you can get a decent yellow green by mixing the yellow and the blue, uh, this is going to be an even lighter yellow green. Even if you're someone like me who really likes vibrant neon colors, these colors are just too versatile. There you have it, there's my booster. This is my 16 set so far. This is what you would have. But now that you have 16, why stop there? This is addictive, right? It's like catching Pokemon. Okay, so this is going to be the next group of colors that I'm going to recommend. And the first one I'm going to recommend is Frost Blue. I'm going to recommend you an even lighter purple. And then that way you can blend if you are drawing something that is entirely purple. And then I'm going to recommend an even lighter green. But it's great for blending with this green that I recommended earlier. Next one I'm going to recommend chartreuse. And then the next one I'm going to recommend, because this one is just so hard to mix. And this is going to be YV25, which is Dog Rose Flower. Now I'm going to recommend you the darkest blue so far, which is B04 Tahitian Blue. And then I'm going to recommend you one of my favorite colors of all time, BG Mint Green. And now we're getting into actually recommending some darker colors. So this is going to be R29 Lipstick Red. It really is like a dark red. It's not, it's a little lighter in real life. So this is a color that was not recommended to me when I first started and I really wish it was. And this is YR02. This color is so useful even if you don't like orange. It's like a coral color. It's like YR02. You can use this to color things like if you're a fan of Steven Universe, like Pearl's hair. Oh, here, let's focus on. Huh? And then I'm actually going to start getting into recommending you some blue-violet colors, which I haven't recommended you any yet because up till now you've been able to set blend your violets and your blues to get blue-violets really well. But it's still going to be hard to get that lighter blue-violet color. And this color is really just an amazing shading color. So if you have like a face and you don't want to shade it with blue, you can shade it with purple. And let's go ahead and do like... Again, here's going to be a dark yellow-green. I'm going to recommend G28. And then um, this color, which is BG18. And if you compare it with the green, here's YG19. And the last one that I'm going to recommend you for this set, which is going to bring you to a 32 set, is going to be Y07. Now, I haven't recommended any dark oranges until last because the great thing about the YR family is that if you want to shade an orange, you can do it with red. Okay, so now finally this is going to be the last four topics that I recommend completing, bringing you up to a full 36 set of markers. All three of these from the blue violet family because we have no blue violets. The final color I'm going to recommend is this E29, which is Burnt Umber. If you draw a lot of people with darker skin tones, like especially if you are someone who has a different, like a darker skin tone, um, you might want to get this color a lot earlier. This is one of the first topics I got, and it's useful for anything that's brown that you just really want that dark shadow on. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful color. So there you have it. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about the different 
blending families that you will not have if you have all of the colors that I've recommended. There you have it. What 36 markers can do blending wise. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next week.